today I'm going to use Goffman and Weber's communication theories about image and go a little bit more in depth with those in relation to the public image of Wells Fargo, especially in light of a current controversy that has definitely altered their image. Um, the bank's brand was recently damaged when a corporate scandal came to light. The bank had been creating fake customer accounts in order to make their company look better on paper. When the new accounts were created, this inflated their stock and it made the business look falsely better according to the markets. Um, over 5,000 employees were fired because their managers were encouraging them to create these fake accounts. And it also came to light around this time that they were illegally um, repossessing their customers' cars without a court order. Um, they faced federal fines and requirements to um, fire some of their board members who had um, turned a blind eye to these issues that were going on and sort of instilled the corporate culture of deceit. Um, after these issues became known, the Wells Fargo brand somewhat became synonymous with lies and dirty sales. The government only allowed them to continue in business if they promised to drastically change the way they did business and completely uproot the culture that had been instilled in their sales department. Following this blow to their image, Wells Fargo put out a series of commercials, sort of stating their renewed focus, as they say and they are going to try to focus on the communities in which they serve instead of just focusing on business and increasing sales. Um, they did this by showing acts of service done on behalf of their company. And they also highlighted some incidents where people could count on Wells Fargo in the past, saying that they had a history of trust and this was just a blip in the um, full history of their company. So I'm gonna show you an example of one of their commercials now. All right. can see how they're sort of taking ownership of what happened and trying to change their company's idea about what they believe they stand for and trying to change their public perception. Um, according to Goffman, there are four areas that we can use to analyze a brand's impression on society in their public image. I think Wells Fargo is a prime example to sort of break down those different phases and look at how they're going about that according to Goffman. Firstly, we have to look at the impression management of Wells Fargo. The company is trying to put the fact that their customers could trust them before and the incident as well as after, and the fake accounts were just one misstep on their part. And the idea that they have been greatly weakened both in market share and staffing since 2006 is put on the backstage. That's something they don't want their customers to know or necessarily focus on during these commercials. This message is still present because their huge marketing campaign shows how desperate they are for new customers because their business got destroyed by the scandal. Wells Fargo's vision is to satisfy our customers' financial needs and to help them succeed financially. Their values include being ethical and putting their customers first. I think the new um, ads fit their mission and values by taking responsibility for their actions and trying to mend the damage they did by investing in the community. The next avenue to examine Wells Fargo's image is framing. This looks at the perspective or lens the company wants you to see them through. Here, Wells Fargo wants us to see them as an honest company that just slipped up this once. They want us to relate to them by showing the employees as people just like us with the same temptations on a daily basis. Showing the company as relatable makes us see their issues as inevitable and we are able to understand why they failed the customer. The recipients to the, their message may see this ad as understandable and accept their apology, or they might see this huge campaign as somewhat pandering and desperate for sales. Another aspect we can examine is their footing, or what standing does the company have to make these kind of messages. Wells Fargo's concept for these commercials comes from a place of rock bottom. The company couldn't do anything to make them really look worse at this point, so they're having to rebuild the trust of people in the community as well as people in the corporate business world. They've completely lost the trust and strength of their brand and they're looking to find new groups of people, new customers that are willing to look past what they've heard about them or um, bring back in some of their old customers who've left. 
concept um, of these videos probably originated from a group of human psychologists, marketing specialists, and videographers. And they most likely studied how people build trust and regain it, and um, what makes people accept apologies. And the author of the message is Wells Fargo as a whole, but also their board members, employees, and people that the community would come in contact with on a daily basis. Um, the commercials look like they're a direct message from their employees about their renewed focus on the people they serve. And they're presented in the form of a video most of the time, so we can directly see the communities that the employees are volunteering for and connect with the faces of the employees, people that you might see um, at your local Wells Fargo branch. I think that all three parties, the originators of this message, the author of the message, and the animator are concurring on this united message that Wells Fargo has turned over a new leaf and they can now be trusted. The final facet with which we can look through to analyze Wells Fargo's new brand identity is the face or their image as a whole. Um, the ads contribute to their brand by showing them as a customer oriented company and they show their honesty by admitting that they failed their customers in the past. They also show determination by adding images and videos of ways that they've changed and they're um, not going to give up on the community. They're going to keep trying harder and harder to prove that they can be trusted again. Um, they've added a greater focus of customer service and community service. And they use images of their employees installing park benches and stories of Wells Fargo giving loans to homeless members of the community and to help them become self-sufficient. And they show real action behind their um, somewhat vague uh, values and vision. It attempts to assert power over the viewer by showing how long the brand has been thriving for a long time. And in the end, we won't know how effective these ads are um, in repairing Wells Fargo's image until much later. Currently, there are a few studies that show that people aren't really buying it and they feel the ads are desperate attempts by a doomed company. This could be done because um, the scandal is still in effect and it will take time to sort of smooth over and for people to move on and forget about it until the next scandal comes around. Or it could be from just how deeply Wells Fargo messed up. People are still dealing with the effects of some of the things they did today. People lost their jobs, people lost their cars. There's a lot of um, real effects in people's lives they may not be willing to forgive Wells Fargo for. I think they could enhance their image by being a little bit more real. Um, going out there and accepting the, their mistakes definitely showed the public that they were being very conscious and aware that they messed up and taking um, responsibility for it. But I think they've sort of glossed over the whole issue and already tried to move on a little bit too quickly. Um, I think images of sunshine and park benches and smiling employees uh, could be replaced with some more real stories of employees that messed up and why they did what they did and um, how they wish they could take it back. And I think these would be a little bit more daring, but I think the sincerity would strike people a little bit more and maybe move them to change about what they believe about Wells Fargo. And I think such a drastic change in image is exactly what they need at this point. I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse of um, Wells Fargo's current image and applying Goffman's theories to it. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have anything you want to discuss regarding Goffman or the current Wells Fargo campaign.